איתמר זורמן, שלום. שלום. And welcome to culture buzz. תודה, it's my pleasure. איתמר, a big מזל טוב is in order. For your wonderful debut with the Israeli Philharmonic here tonight at a small Irish hall in Tel Aviv University. And what a wonderful and unique performance of the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. Itamar, how did you do it? Uh, <laughs> a lot of work. Really, a lot of work. Help from the orchestra. They are great. They are very supportive and they play wonderfully. And the conductor also. They can drop it some. He's, you know, he lets me be free, but on the other hand keeps things going and he's always with me. So the circumstances are actually very easy for me to play this for the first time here in the Philharmonic. We have taped uh, some of it and we felt quite privileged. And I believe sitting uh, within the audience, telling by the reaction of the audience that they have received you like a son or a member in a wonderful dynasty of Jewish violinists. <laughs> Yasha Hefetz, yeah. Yudi Menuchin, Perelman, yeah. Shacham. Yes, it's true. So, welcome to the family. <laughs> I'm not yet there, but I mean, it's a big... Um, you know, these are people that I admire, so I would love to go in their footsteps, basically. Really fantastic time. Itamar, maybe a few words about how this all began for you, coming from a musical family yeah. and all. So my parents are both musicians, and my mother is a pianist, and my father is a composer <coughs> who plays many, many instruments. Forgive me for interrupting, we even had the pleasure of interviewing your mother in regards of her research of Hatikva. Yeah, she does that too, she does Wonderful. many, many things, quite amazing. But maybe. unlike your mother, You chose the violin. violin. That was part of the reason, you know. I, cho- I wanted to choose uh, an instrument that, were, that they don't play so that they can't tell me what to do. Uh, also, I loved the sound of the violin from the very beginning. That, that I actually remember quite well. That from the very beginning, somehow the sound of the violin talked to me and I was hoping to write music or to make music, basically, with the sound of the violin in mind. Composing too? Composing too, I stopped. Hey. One day I hope to continue, but no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. And if the Israeli Philharmonic needed an excuse to invite you for your debut, they got the perfect one. It was you co-winning the Tchaikovsky violin uh, yeah, competition, yeah, the, the most important one in the world. Yeah, the, one of the most important ones, really. Um, yeah, <laughs> it happened. Uh, a, a tough competition. Uh, yeah, tough. It was the summer of 2011. Uh, long competition with five rounds. But these are, you know, the, these kind of top competitions, there are a few of them and they always, there's a lot, a lot of repertoire to learn, you know, solo and recital and three concertos with orchestra. Wow. So... Tough. Demanding. Uh, yeah, very demanding. So... Uh, It was tiring, but a very positive, <laughs> a very positive experience. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. We mentioned before the Jewish dynasty of great violinists. And tonight, in a way, it was a Jewish concerto. Yes, a Mendelssohn. Written with the help, correct me if I'm wrong, of a Mendelssohn friend who was a Jewish violinist himself, David. F- yeah, Ferdinand David. I, I mean, maybe he is Jewish, maybe he's not. I don't know. I never looked into it. I mean, it sounds definitely mm-hmm. Jewish. A Mendelssohn. Yeah, you know the story, we come from a Jewish family that was celebrated for many generations. Um, and this is a very, uh, a very special piece. It's the perfect concerto, it's not too long at each movement. The melodies are just fantastic. But the writing is so... everything is connected, it's all in one flow. And it's very, very original too, so yeah. I'm lucky to play this. I may be wrong, but sitting amongst the audience, looking at you, listening to you, and I think it, it, it's very apparent on the clips that we took, it's as if Itamar 
you are making love to your <laughs> violin on stage and what is interesting that the violin returns love. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully. Is our observation correct? I don't know. Uh, I don't think about it this way, but I really, um, you know, I'm focusing on the music and I'm trying also to feel it on stage. And people have different techniques in bringing the emotion out of the violin in a performance. Um, you know, there's a lot of work that is being done before that has to do also with emotional connection and what you project the way you play a certain sort of phrase, the kind of sound you make. But for me, at least at this moment, there is nothing that can substitute all, also the real feeling on stage while I'm playing. Um, it, the moment it works for me. And it's different in different pieces, you know. In this one, emotion changes. It starts, it's appassionato, like with passion, like Mendelssohn writes. It becomes a little more gentle in the second movement. Uh, and at the end, it's, it's always kind of funny and fun. So. Yeah. Expression has to change also. Yeah. In your permission, let's talk a bit about influences and role models. Yeah. When you were first studying the violin, who were your role models? Who did you listen to? I mean, I'm always... Uh, the two violinists that I love most um, are Heifetz and Oistra. How did uh, I forget David Oistra? How did I forget uh, him? Nowadays I study with Christian Tetzloff, who is also very, very inspiring. I mean, he a brilliant violinist and a very uh, thinking musician. He gives me a lot of things to think about. And actually teachers throughout. So he's now before the was Rosenberg, Navo Milo here in Israel, Fagai, Shafam, all these people. You know, first of all seeing their life in music. And also getting, you know, knowledge from them was really, I owe so much to them. And they did a good job, if I may say so myself. Is the violin a Jewish instrument? Or, let me rephrase the question, is the, giant, is, is the violin, sorry, one of the most Jewish instruments you know? There, there is something, you know, it is connected very much with Jewish music and Jewish tradition and the fact that there are so many Jewish instruments, uh, Jewish, great <coughs> Jewish violinists. I mean, they say that it was very, you know, it's easy to carry, it's small, so people could take it from place to place. This way is the Jewish instrument. Um, you know, also non-Jewish people wrote amazing music for the violin. Uh, I really want to think, I, li I like to think about the violin, the violin is a very, con um, instrument is very much connected with the soul. It, it is really, you know, very singing. You know, there are also the other, uh, you know, cello and viola, all the other strings are also very, very singing, of course. But the violin, I guess because there's something a little bit more soloistic about it, because of the register, there are all these concertos, uh, it, it really is somehow, there's something extremely personal about it. I feel. And endless options and colors that you can get from it. That's the big advantage and also the difficulty about the violin. The possibilities are endless. Mm. A tough question in your permission. What do you think, if at all, in the way you perform, in the way you interpret music, has to do with the fact that you are an Israeli? There is. I'm sure there is. Um, the main thing First of all, I you know I grew up here, so there's a lot of <coughs> there's some music, musical heritage. I went to uh, a mu summer music, uh, chamber music, uh, fast courses of the Jerusalem Music Center, and these were a very very big influence on me. Um, learning chamber music, getting to know this repertoire, playing with people, this is something that is not done so often in other places, and that was a big big influence. Mm -hmm. And also here in Israel, you know, we really have kibbutz galuyot, we have uh, influences, for me, you know, my teacher is there was this influence from Russia, and from Hungary, from Romania, and, and some, some German also, so people from all over the world came. Fusion. And, yeah. Or and sometimes confusion. Yes, very true actually, but uh, I find it, it's good, you know, the better you, the more you know, the better in the end. Mm -hmm. Itamar, what can we wish you? 
I hope for uh, first of all health for family and friends and many more years in music. <laughs> it's a really privilege to be in this uh, profession. Wonderful. So we wish you exactly that and much more than that. Itamar, תודה רבה. Good luck. Shalom.